Hi, this is a minute of Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now this week I want to ask, are you serving enough ads in your app? Okay, so in a couple weeks from now, I'm going to go on holiday to, well, not holiday, I'm going to go back home to San Diego, where I grew up, uh, for a week, and I'm really looking forward to it, right? I've been, it's been five years since I've been back home to the States. Uh, you know, I've been, you know, living in the UK for the last 18 years, and I, as much as I say I want to go home once a year, it's usually like once every five years. However, every time I go back, I'm surprised by how many ads are on TV, right? So. Uh, one thing in, in the UK, you have the BBC, which has no ads, and, and we we pay a TV tax that that helps pay the the uh, pay for the TV. And then even the other networks, they have a, far fewer ads than um, you know the, the the commercial networks they have far fewer ads than uh, than US television. And every time I go back, I'm surprised by how many ads there actually are. Uh, even, even when you buy like a like a box set of, of uh, TV shows, if you buy something from the you know the 60s, 70s, or 80s, you, it, you know, the, the length of an hour-long TV show is like 52 minutes or something, uh, and but now they're like 43 because they're constantly putting more ads in, right? And th the reason I bring this up is, is, uh, is to talk about whether or not you're actually serving enough ads in your app. So the biggest, well, I would say it's not the biggest complaint, but one complaint I see a lot uh, in my reviews is, you know, say, oh, there's just too many ads, right? And I, and I think that's healthy, right? I think if you're not getting like a, like that complaint every so often, then you might not be serving enough ads. Now, I've sh a few weeks ago, I showed you, uh, I briefly showed you the revenue that I get from AdMob and, and advertising revenue that comes through and all that kind of stuff. You know, but when, when I first started my first app, uh, I, I did just banner ads and they hardly made a thing, right? So, so, and then I started putting in uh, interstitial ads, but I, interstitials are annoying, right? So interstitials, if you don't know, they're the full page ads that pop up and they, you know, they fill the whole screen and you have to click on the X to close them. So I put those in the ear spy and uh, because I, I thought they're, they're really annoying. So let's just do it once every four opens. So you use the app, you use the app, you use the app and the fourth time you'll get that full page ad. I thought that was fair, right? And I still didn't see a lot of revenue, right? And then a, a consultant from AdMob called me up just doing their, you know, sometimes if, if uh, you know, you could probably get this for yourself where you can actually get like 20 minutes of a consultant's time and they'll still from AdMob who actually works for Google and he'll give you some tips and tricks and stuff like that. And it was really helpful. But the first thing he said was, I looked at your app and you didn't have any interstitial ads. And I said, no, that's not true. It happens once every four times. So if you open it four times, he said, so yeah, most people have that on every open, right? So after that, I started, you know, I, I did, I put it to every two, every two opens, uh, people didn't really complain and I did it to every four opens and people complained a bit and they do, they will complain, right? But that's, that's the way things work. I, the way I consider this is when you, going back to the television example in the States, at one point if they if they brought in too many ad breaks, it wouldn't be worth watching. Uh, and, and even now it's, you know, with box sets and, you know, HBO and everything, it's, it is, Sometimes you don't even bother watching commercial television because the ads are too much. Uh, and so, it, you know, but, but if they're not, if the, if the quality of the television show is, is good enough, then people will endure those ads. And that's, and ads, of course, is how television makes money. And, and so with television, you have something very different than, than with us for the most part, because you have a writer and a director and actors and all those people are, are committed to the story and to the show. And then you have the people who need to make money to pay those actors and they're interested in you know, advertising revenue and ratings and, and all that kind of stuff. So, so, you know, in my mind, I don't know, I don't have a lot, you know, I don't have any experience with the television industry, but I imagine that there's constant clashes between the two of them. I mean, no writer would write a, an hour long drama and say, you know, what this really needs at this point is an ad break, right? They, they, I th I'm sure they would prefer not to have any ads at all, right? And, uh, and uh, you know, the people over here say, you know, they want to have more ads. You know, can we make the show a little bit shorter so we can you know, put more ads in? Uh, and it's a constant balance. If you have too many ads, then you have lower ratings uh, and, and, and people will pay less for the ads. And if you, ha if you don't have enough, then you don't have enough. You don't have quality programming. You don't have enough to actually produce a quality product, right? And this is the very same thing with, with your app. So 
the reason I bring this up is a lot of times when I meet with clients, uh, the first thing I'll bring up is that, well, you can use advertising to, to generate revenue. And the first thing they say is, no, I don't really like ads, right? And, but they don't, they don't say anything else. They, they think that people are just going to buy like just on a whim. They're just going to pay for the app. But a lot of times you do need that free version to get people in. I mean, and it's good. Every single app that I have, you could pay to remove ads, right? So, but that's not really the goal. I don't have enough ads to force people to pay. I have ads in there because they generate revenue. And the, you know, the reason that it's free is because you know, you're served ads. The same reason the television show is free is because they raise ad revenue and it's it's um you know as an app developer if you're solo or even work for a small company you don't have the two sides like television does where you know the story writers and the artists and the and the executives you know conflicting you have to kind of bring that in yourself so what i say is if you're not getting at least some reviews that say uh it's good but there's too many ads like i got this one today for korean flash quiz right just today when i was thinking about talking about this Right. Uh, he says, you know, oh, it's really good, but please remove the ads, right? And because, you know, but, you know, that's not the way things work. If you're not getting some of those every so often, then you need to ask yourself whether or not you're serving enough ads, right? You don't want to serve so many that people don't use it and leave loads of bad reviews, but you don't want to serve so little that you're, you're just missing out on revenue opportunities that they, they might not even mind, you know, sitting through. So, so that's it from, from my, uh, minute of overpass this week, you know, just asking, you know, t take a look, you know, this week, see, are you serving enough ads, uh, in your app? So, so that's it. I'll talk to you next week. Hey, I really hope you liked that video. Uh, now, I do these once a week, so if, if you, if you want to hear more or you want to you know, hear more about uh, our experiences with the App Store, either Google Play or iTunes, uh, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel and please like this video and, and leave a comment. I love reading the comments. I love hearing what you have to say, even if it's just hello or, or, or whatever. And, and like I say before, um, if, you, if you're not sure what to, to say in a comment, like I never know what to say in a comment, I'll make it easier for you. Like if, if you liked it, just go ahead and say gnarly, uh, which is an 80s term. Or uh, if you didn't like it, just say bogus. And, and if you didn't think any of it, just say eh. Right? So, and, so that, that would be a big, big, big help. And, and another thing you could do, uh, which I'd really appreciate it, if you're on the App Store and you want to try one of our apps, look up some of the Overpass apps, uh, applications either on iTunes or Google Play, and, and leave a review and, and let us know what you think about it, either good or bad. But, uh, you know, it, it's uh, we're all trying to, you know, build up in the market. So, uh, so that would be a big help. So, so that's it. I'll talk to you next week.